All right, we've got a, a nodule pushing up here. It's kind of, it bulges down, but it's relatively flat across the bottom, doesn't infiltrate. And then we got these eh, squamous eddies, these beautiful swirls and whirls of bright pink uh, keratin, and they're not invading down to the dermis. And so I think there's two different considerations when you see this pattern. It could just be, well, what, are, what would you think? Could be a squame, but in a squame, usually what I want to see is that stuff invading out into the dermis. In real life, I do struggle on a regular basis. Is it squame or is it one of these other things? Yeah, I irritated seborrheic keratosis will make squamous eddies. Absolutely. And one other thing in the follicular family will do it too, which some people think is related to this uh, IFK. So if you see it bulging down into a hair follicle on a squamous eddies, you can call it inverted follicular keratosis. If you think it looks more like just a seb, you can call it irritated seb. They, I think they're really a lot of overlap there. In real life, I do see on a regular basis some that have glassy kind of atypical stuff. And especially if it's transected, I will sometimes include a comment like, well, there's atypia that I think is reactive, but I can't see the base of the lesion. And if it grows back or you're worried, you can do another biopsy. And that way I'm not obligating the derm to do anything, but I am letting them know, um, you know, there's some stuff there I can't see. When I see the whole lesion like this and I can see it's nice smooth bottom, I would just sign this out as either an IFK or an irritated seb, whichever direction you would want to go with it. And I, again, I feel there's a close relationship probably between those two.